Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about certification once again. Though there is one uh, tutorial already there on the channel, which talks about different AWS certifications available and it tells you how to choose the one which is suitable for you based on the type of work which you have been doing. Now, I am getting a lot of queries in terms of uh, uh, you know, people trying to uh, trying to ask that which track is right for them. Uh, most of the times, what I have told in the tutorial that should help. If you are if you are from the admin background, you have been doing things in Linux, Windows administration, network administration, security administrator, uh, sysops administrator is the right thing for you. In case you are from development background, it could be any language. Uh, if you understand what API, uh, how to use APIs, how to consume them, uh, you have done some development with Java, .NET, or PHP, or some other language, and you have used some SDKs, you have some fair amount of development experience, then probably doing the uh, or taking the developer path should be right. Now, of course, you can go ahead and do all the associate exams, but this is just uh, you know just a, a direction that which one you should choose to get started with and then of course you can expand on all the uh, you know on all the three associate exams the architect ones uh, according to me though you will find that maximum number of people are having architect uh, certification there are two reasons first it was launched first right out you know that is the first certification which was launched by aws so there are more people also people uh, have this kind of notion in their mind that uh, architect is comparatively higher, you know, than than the sysops administrator or the developer one. There's nothing like that. It is just about about the type of people or the kind of role which you play, and accordingly you can choose. Now, architect people should go for architect ones when, uh, <coughs> for example, you are involved in designing the solution, trying to tell that why the service should be used why this should not be used, what are the positive negatives. So this part I've covered earlier as well. Now, people have asked that if we can if we can talk about uh, that what all do we need to uh, do we need to study. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to cover that uh, while you are trying to prepare any of the three uh, associate exams, what uh, what all do you need to study and how much depth you have to go for, uh, in terms of different services. Uh, before I go there, I'm repeating uh, my suggestion as I say always guys just don't just do not go for certification for the sake of having it you should go and get yourself and you should go and get yourself certified only when you know the stuff as well so please spend some time learn things have the knowledge really on your hand and after that go ahead and get your certification so now um, I've tried to kind of break thing, you know, break this uh, whole syllabus for you. You can see on the right hand side we have the different uh, associate exams: solutions architect, sysops administrator, and developer. All three associate level. And if you see on the left hand side, what I've tried to do is I have put certain services which are common for all of them, which you see in the first column here on the left. And then a certain services which you need to do in case you are targeting for the respective uh, respective certification on the right hand side. So let us go ahead and try to understand them. On the left hand side, you see a few things like EC2, ELB, ELB is elastic load balancing, auto scaling, S3, identity and access management, IAM, user data, CloudWatch, VPC. So these things, these eight uh, services I would say uh, these are very critical and you need to go and understand them at uh, you know at really depth level you need to go in depth and understand all of these services and practice doesn't matter which associate exam you're gonna write so many times people people would be confused and they come they continue to ask that I'm gonna do sysops admin I'm going to do developer or I'm going to do architect and where should I start with guys doesn't matter which associate exam you are going to do you need to make sure the things which are shown on the left these are the building blocks of aws you need to go ahead and master yourself on these things for sure right so first of all when you are getting started doesn't matter which exam you'll write first go and master these things read these things and do practical 
and be sure about it <coughs> so there are many uh, uh, many of the tutorials which i have created already related to these services there are more coming there's a tutorial detailed tutor tutorial where, where i have explained about ec2 right from its creation its various properties i've done uh, things on elb uh, s3 i'm yet to do im i have explained in detail uh, and a lot more are yet to come vpc there's a very good tutorial you can understand from scratch how to create a vpc okay then moving to the right hand side though you can see that in the solution architect solutions architect exam there i've written more number of services here whereas you see lesser number of services in these two it doesn't mean uh, at all that this is more difficult and this is comparatively easier it's not like that as i told you the breadth and the depth of services differ so you can see in solutions architect you have to read about lot more services you have to understand what is cloudfront what is workspaces its integration with directory service what is directory service as such lambda kinesis cloud formation ebs glacier cloud trail sns sqs what is ami and snapshot relational database service api gateway elastic cache so all these things which i have written here you need to know about all of them but the but the depth up to which you need to go that is not not a lot right so <clears throat> how to prepare them of course best thing would be if you can go and at least once uh, you know uh, go to the management console and create these things on your own if you create these ones on your own you will you will get the confidence you will get to know about all the attributes and for all the attributes which you are supplying while creating these services just read, read about them in the documentation okay uh, i am uh, you know bringing few more uh, tutorials very soon where we'll be covering all of that but i'm um, but of course you need not depend on me you can go ahead and prepare on your own as well so in that case these services which you see here at least do two things for them go ahead to the management console create all of these services while creating read about the different attributes which you are giving what what does that mean and then go and read the faq frequently asked questions for all these services it is available on the website just go and read the faq for all these services that should be good enough for you next is in case of sysops administrator here the depth is more uh, you know for all the services though you see lesser number of services which you need to study which is like here on the left hand side and this one but the depth up to which you need to go that is lot more so you really need to go ahead and do practical practice things and then only you will be able to pass this exam understand that so uh, some of the services i've covered already and i'm bringing uh, more tutorials but uh, i'm going to take an approach going forward uh, that i am i will be taking a problem and we will go ahead and solve that problem and as we solve it uh, we solve that problem with the different uh, aws services we will run uh, we will learn about those services along with so please uh, uh, you know remain subscribed and uh, 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 you can expect a practical approach to learning about all of this very soon right i'm bringing all of that it is just it will be out in a in a week or so next is about developer so in case of developer if you are done with these things on the left then it is great in addition to that you need to uh, the reason why i have made dynamo db bold here is in case of developer exams guys dynamo db is a very big portion so you can expect at least 30% questions to be from dynamo db in the overall exam so please uh, in order to prepare that of course go ahead uh, create dynamo db uh, see its console completely and read its faq for sure if not the complete documentation at least faq of dynamo db you should read for sure and uh, once you create update a dynamo db table you will get to know about all its attributes that would be good enough okay um, in addition to that <coughs> for other things like sns sqs swf and lambda and kinesis if you are done with its faq that is more than enough you don't need anything more than that this is associate level exam uh, and understand uh, in developer exam nobody tests you for your programming knowledge so you don't have to worry about whether you are good at programming or not you need to understand the services which are relevant for the developer trap and you should know that what are its properties and how do you use them and when do you use them right so if you do that it would be good i am planning to cover that as well in you know in some time but so so now to start with doesn't matter which 
or which track you are choosing out of three, you have to finish these things first and build your base, things which are there on the left hand side. So as of now, if you see, uh, my tutorials are more concentrated on this. So I'll I'll be very soon finishing all of this and then I'll move to things which are there on the right hand side. Okay, so you can expect that in the solutions architect exam, whatever is there here on the left hand side, this itself covers around 50 to 60% of the questions. Same way uh, for uh, sysops administrator as well, around 60% of the questions come from this itself, 60 to 70% I would say, they, those come just from this. Okay, in case of developer exam, I would say around you know 50% roughly, 45 to 50% come from this. So I hope that helps. Um, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. If you have, please write it below uh, and I'll be answering that. Guys, uh, if you like this, please go ahead and share this with your friends so that they can also learn along with you. And uh, please remain subscribed and I'll, I'll be bringing this whole, uh, you know, problem solving way of learning very soon. So uh, within a week, you'll have a a problem statement and we will solve it using different services which are relevant for solutions architect and sysops administrator example there is a there is a playlist on the channel which is there for sysops administrator but if you understand what i have explained now you'll understand you will uh, you will find a lot of those videos useful for your architect and developer associate exam as well so please go ahead follow them create your free trial account and start practicing i'll be in touch thank you Bye-bye. And please remember to share and subscribe. Bye-bye.